Have you ever noticed the starry sky in a dark, clear night? If you've ever been camping or maybe you're visiting the Grand Canyon or the far end of South Padre Island where the road ends and you just stare up at the sky and you see all those stars, there's something you experience in your soul, in your heart. It's the sense of awe and wonder. It's also very humbling. You feel very small and you can't help but consider the universe how small we are, how precious and incredible life is. And it gives you this sense of wonder and you begin to consider the big questions in life. That doesn't happen nearly as often when you're surrounded by artificial lights. If you grew up in a city, everything seems to be human-sized. You can explain, you understand, you can build, you can destroy. But when you look at the stars, it's a different perspective altogether. I wonder if we get so busy with our small human plans and our human-made things that we don't stop to consider God and eternity and life beyond just ourselves, beyond my problems, my worries, my concerns. Could we be missing out on what life is really all about because we're surrounded by these small man-made things? How can we break away from that? If you can't make it to a dark sky and stare at the stars, prayer can have a similar impact in our lives. But it can't be the rushed, hurried prayers that we usually do. I want to challenge you to slow down. Spend some time talking with God, remembering who He is and who we are. And as you spend that time talking with God, I think you can experience a little bit of that awe, of that thing that moves in our souls, that calls us to more than just what's around us right now.